absolutely. Yeah. I'm sitting. Oh. Come on, come on, sit, yo. Two old heads in the chairs. <laughs> Kim, what were you thinking, <laughs> feeling as this happened for the second time in five, six days, whatever it was? Uh, I would just say that uh, right place at the right time. Um, the ball came to me, and I just finished it, and I seen the red lights go off, and it was kind of just nothing but joy, uh, knowing that I could just uh, bring a win home for all of us, but like for the seniors, uh, the people who fought so hard for this program. Cam, given how you know, the season has gone for you, what have the, the past two games meant to you personally and overall the, the stretch of the last five games or so? Uh, I mean, they've meant a lot. Uh, I mean, I came here to, to get to the tournament, and uh, I feel like the last like couple games, that's the only thing that's been on my mind is just helping this team win uh, so we can just keep moving on. Um, so, I mean, I've just been blessed to uh, have opportunities to um, win us the game. Miles, uh, we asked you Monday, what you would be feeling, what you expected us to feel like. What did it all feel like, especially to have the kind of game that you did in your last game here? Um, I said it was going to be emotional. I didn't expect it to be that emotional. Um, like, I didn't, it didn't really hit me until, like, right before they announced my name in the senior night thing. I was like, wow, it's crazy. Um, and after the game, oh, man, like, to, that's like a storybook ending. Like, you can't picture it any other way. It feels like a movie. Corner that got you going. I can't remember because you had so many. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember either. <laughs> but how is your mind feeling? You've, you've had a rough patch the last month. You've had to guard bigs all that time. Your legs and quads must be pretty sore. But when you when you're a shooter and you get it going, it doesn't matter, right? right. How did you? How was your mind after making one? Did you get unconscious or what? Um, no, I mean, you know, the guys behind me, they seen the work I put in. You know, like just repetition, you know, make or miss. I can't let it, you know, affect my next shot. So, you know, no matter how many I missed in the past few games, like everybody here has faith in me to keep shooting. Peck, you guys have been in so many close games recently. Earlier in the Big Ten season, you guys struggled in those games. Lately, you've been pulling them out. How important was it the last few games that you were able to do that leading up to this? And then where does this put you going into – uh, the Big Ten tournament and beyond where you know you're going to be in tight games. Yeah, definitely. Um, it, the last couple of games for us have been really good. I think the last, like, five besides, like, the Rutgers game. But we felt like we've been playing pretty good basketball. So, you know, coming around now, this is where we want to be, you know, coming off a two-game win streak, playing the way we're playing. We've had tight games and on the road and at home. So we feel like we can play with anybody in the league. Um, it's just building confidence for us, and we're excited to get going. All right, I'm talking to Andrew. When you made this shot that you thought it was a three, but it turned out to be a two, and they reviewed it. How did you guys react in the huddle, and how did you guys just pull it out even after they scored? Uh, yes. Yeah, to be honest, I, I kind of knew it was a two with the way my footwork was. Uh, <laughs> so I know I messed up your question a little bit, but uh, I think that, like, and I kind of told Coach that just to kind of, uh, you know, let him know. I was like, I, I'm pretty sure they're going to rule it's a two, and if that changes anything that we're going to do. Uh, but to be honest, it didn't, because the way that we were playing at that point, like, we were all about stops, and either way, tie, tie ball game down one. Uh, we had a lot of confidence in ourselves that we were going to get a stop and score on the other end. Um, so I think it ultimately boiled down to just having faith in the other guys that it doesn't really matter, one or two, uh, or two or three, that, uh, you know, we're going to do what we need to do to win the game. When you said um, on the last possession, during the timeout, I guess it was 19 seconds, what did uh, Coach Shrewsbury want? And Seth, did that shot come about just uh, out of flow, or was that intense? Uh, I mean, yeah, it, it was definitely a flow. Um, when uh, Jalen drove to the basket, you know, uh, him being a great player, he's going to draw a lot of attention. I think two guys went, and um, he turned around and made a great pass to me. And uh, I seen uh, Martinez, number 23, like he jumped on my right side as if I was about to pass the ball to Funk. So I just uh, I figured I'd just shoot the ball, you know, just shoot it with confidence. And, uh, you know, it came off, but... It is what it is. I ran there to get offensive rebound. Uh, I tipped the ball right to Cam Winter for for game. Did you you tip it to Cam? Yeah. And Cam, what, what were you thinking when the ball was in your hand? Were you worried about the clock or not? Uh, no, I was just 
just go up. I'm under the basket. There ain't nothing, <laughs> nothing else to do down there but go up. Yeah. So uh, I knew that there wasn't too much time on the clock, and I got the ball. I'm right under the basket. And it's, it's a layup. So I'm going to take that every time. Jalen, you, you, you guys knew what was riding on this game. What did you guys feel like wasn't working in the first half? How, did you feel like that played into uh, the performance that you guys had those first 20 minutes? Um, yeah, we we had to switch up our offense and our defense a little bit because things weren't working. But I think um, it started off, we were trying to do a little bit of post doubles, and we were doubling, and they were kicking it out for threes. So, I mean, in the second half, we made an adjustment, you know, staying home and scraping a little bit. Um, Miles did a great job down there. Uh, Kaba Seth did a great job. So, you know, sometimes we got to adjust our game plan to, you know, different teams with different players. So, Coach um, came in. He said we need to have some more fun, put on some more smiles, and we just need to attack it a different way. And in the second half, we just played our hearts out. And we knew that if we got it close, uh, we felt like we had a good chance of winning it. Jalen, talking about uh, making adjustments, you, the last couple buckets there were backdoor passes, um, guys underneath the rim. Was that something you guys had adjusted to there late in the game to try to get those passes when you were getting double teamed out in the wings? Yeah, definitely. Um, we went smaller. Um, <laughs> we went smaller at the end of the game, trying to do some things, and they kept doubling. So Cam did a great job of just seeing the cuts. Uh, Miles got a couple back doors. So um, if teams are going to double and send two, we got to get a rim threat. And I think it just took, we just took advantage of what the defense was giving us there. Seth, uh, it looked like when you got fouled on that three, you kind of were like exasperated. Like finally, uh, how did it feel to make those three free throws, given you know how crucial they were down the stretch, and to rebound from what happened last time you you played here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, um, getting found that three, it was just. You know, uh, I feel like I haven't been getting that call like as much as I should have, but because guys always try to run me off the line, they always found me. But um, yeah, uh, when I went to the line, I was I was very confident. I've been shooting a lot of free throws like after every workout, before practice, after practice. So it was a uh, it was just one shot at a time, and uh, I had all the confidence in the world I was gonna make all three. And um, yeah, I just felt like my shot was gonna fall after that as well. So it was definitely good for us. All right. Uh you five was on the floor for the end of all five of you singers at for the end of the game. How did it how did it feel? Did you feel any pressure about it? Because this was like us five, we got to bring it home or any of that. Any five, any way you guys can answer it. No. <laughs> um, I mean, realistically, like how many how many games have has this five been in at the end of the game? You know, like it's just going out there and having fun, playing together. You know, like. We just kind of said at halftime, you're like, go out and have fun. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. Like, play as hard as you can. You live with the result. And, you know, we came out on top today. For Miles and then Seth, uh, you know, the two guys who you've been here your entire careers. And to hear Micah, you know, recognize you after the game ended uh, in front of the crowd, you know, what did that mean to you? And, you know, what, um, I guess, overall were, were the feelings to, to hear Micah, you know, talk about you guys like that? Um. It, feel, it feels good, like, you know, coach has a belief in us, and, you know, you always want to play well for not only your teammates, but you want to play well for your coaches too. Um, you know, some people get blessed to go play college basketball for four years, and they dream of it their whole lives. I was blessed to do it for five at the best university in the world. So I, I was just extremely emotional, extremely happy uh, to do it with this, guy, with this team, with these guys, and, you know, finish out strong. Andrew, there was a lot on the film. Um, was there tight in the first half, or was it a very tension packed atmosphere? Yeah, I think uh, a little bit of that plays into it. And, you know, we, we just played at Northwestern, too, where it was their senior day. Um, so we knew it was going to be emotional, and, you know, we're, we're guys that we need to not play off those emotions as much and, and kind of settle down. I think it got us a little tight. Definitely had me a little tight in the first half. Uh, you know, it's just it's been a great season, and, and there's, a, there's a, like, a lot to be proud of, I think, is the bigger thing. Um, so it, it can kind of, you know, your last game, big game in terms of March and, you know, the rest of the implications. Um, so, you know, there's there's a lot going on, but uh, I, I think with the group of guys that we have, we're very mature enough to realize that. And even when we're down double digits at halftime to kind of stay together, stay calm, and, and do what we need to do to win the game. Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, it, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, it's easy to say, like, have fun, you know, whatever. But, uh, you know, it, it goes a long way. You know, when we're playing loose like that and the crowd's getting into it, uh, that's when we're at our best. And, and so I think that, um, you know, kind of having that notion of, you know, we're like Miles said, we're going to go out, do our best, and uh, we'll live with the results. I think that really, you know, rings home. Seth. Sorry. 
Yeah, uh, when Coach Cruz, you know, get, uh, gave everybody the recognition. Um, yeah, for me, like it was, it was definitely a special moment. Um, you know, uh, playing for four years, I feel like I gave a lot of, you know, blood, sweat, and tears uh, for this for this program. And um, I feel like for the for the true fans that really support me and this team. Uh, you know, appreciate them. Uh, a lot of people uh, came out today to support us, and uh, you know, I just, I just really want to, you know, thank the fans that uh, that are, like really riding with us with the ups and downs and stuff like that. And uh, you know, Coach Rue doing that was uh, definitely, you know, something special, and I remember that forever. Thank you guys. Thanks, guys.